I'm Pavin Dakar. I work here at UWA as an associate professor and my expertise is in agricultural and environmental biotechnology. I do a lot of fun stuff um, and that's what my everyday is filled with. As you know, I'm a scientist, I do science and specifically in the biotech area. Uh, with all the new technologies and tools we've got, we are able to do things which have only happened in my sci-fi dreams or sci-fi movies earlier. So it's super fun to be able to unpack the DNA of something which has never, ever, ever been done. I like to be in the lab. That's kind of my favorite part of the day. Um, I don't get to be in the lab every day these days, but still I manage, I sneak in a couple of days in a week. Um, as you know that we generate huge amounts of data, like for with DNA Zoo, we generate terabytes of data every week. And so, you know, I spend quite a lot of my time these days doing the analysis of those, um, those data sets. And that's not done on a normal desktop computer anymore because it's huge amounts of data. If I just have to compare 3,000 genes with 3,000 genes, um, you're looking at about three years. And one normal species would have like 20 to 40,000 genes. So we use supercomputers and we use Posi Supercomputing Center to do most of those analysis. Um, and yeah, so that's, you know, generating data, analyzing data, uh, training students, teaching. Um, I try to go out to the schools a lot uh, to be able to pass on all what we're doing and excite our younger generation so that they can follow on all the legacies which we are creating when they grow up. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of my average day looks like, a lot of fun. No two days in my life kind of look similar. The every day it's kind of different. So whatever I do today, I'm eagerly waiting what's gonna happen or what I'm gonna get out of it tomorrow. So I jump out of the way to come to work. I will probably not leave. I'll probably live here. And I did when I was doing my PhD. DNA Zoo is the most fun project I've ever, ever, ever done or I could think of doing. What is DNA Zoo? DNA Zoo is a not-for-profit organization and it was founded in Houston. So basically using that technology, you can visualize the DNA in a three-dimensional view. And that view, many different aspects of learning about that DNA, that how a two meter long noodle, or in other words, you say it a three billion letter code fits in a six micron nucleus. Can you believe that? Understanding that actually led to founding DNA Zoo. So while we were doing that on across different species, we found that uh, we were able to discover many, many, many different things and also discovered that our planet is actually in the middle of the sixth mass extinction. And there's about one million species to say the least, which urgently need some sort of a support from us because they are at the verge of extinction. DNA Zoo, just trying to empower all the species who co-inhabit this planet with us and give them the same support we've got for our own species. We're doing personalized medicine. Our genome was only sequenced 10 years back and how far we have come, you know, curing diseases and being able to provide solutions to things which we never thought we would. So I think there's a lot of power in understanding all this. And unfortunately, we haven't had those resources available for any other species except for our own. So that's exactly what DNA Zoo is doing. We've only launched it in November 2018. It's become a global project. We are more than 75 collaborators across eight different countries. The biggest message or the key message which I would like to give to the generation now is there is no shortcut to hard work. So never ever think that you can achieve things which you dream of without doing any sort of hard work. So hard work is always going to be the key for achieving anything. On top of that, I really want our next generation to be open and empathetic at the same time. So when I say open, open to being thoughtful and also open to opportunities you know, because they might, you don't know what's going to come your way. So if you open and prepare at the same time, you will make the best out of the things that will come your way. Always be conscious that you're not the only one here. So you got to be making sure that you look after uh, everyone around you, every other species around you, the planet you live on, because it's precious.